Yes, sir. This is kind of a practical question. Sure. I, I hear you about not judging. Um, sure. I'm sure there's a lot of managers in here. Sure. We've got to evaluate people every day. You got to evaluate their actions, not their hearts. And that's the whole thing. We can say, like you can say, to have sex outside of marriage is wrong. If you continue to do it, you can go to hell. But you don't say you're evil, or you don't say you're bad. You say that that action is going to kill you. So if you're a manager and you're evaluating, you can easily. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pastor. I have to fire people all the time. It's the not, firing that I have a problem with. The hiring. You, you, no, the firing. Yeah, me too. I don't like it. But sometimes you have to worry about the business, and it's the action you're looking at. So Jesus constantly talked about actions. But we can't ever judge someone's heart because we have no idea. Okay? So that's very clear. If Hopefully you know. Go ahead. Yes, thank you, Father. Uh, thank you, son. Praying uh, and loving. Yes. Uh, uh, over hate. Over so hate. So a father of a daughter uh, living a nightmare of a father over a daughter and a man. Sure. So how do I pray? How do I love that well, man? Well, first of all, the way you pray and love for him is you start fasting for the conversion of his soul once a week. You give up Friday's bread and water for his soul. And then you love him more than anybody else. I'm very big about this is how to evangelize people. First thing you do is you start, you pray for them. So you write, uh, uh, you have a prayer list every day and you put his name and your daughter's name and different things on there. And so because when you pray for someone, it's kind of like this. It's kind of like being a magnifying glass. You ever take a magnifying glass and you put it out in the sun? The rays of the sun are everywhere, but when you put a magnifying glass over something, those rays are focused through that magnifying glass and sets that situation or that place on fire. When we pray and fast for people, praying is like placing ourselves as a magnifying glass over them. When we fast, we are cleaning the magnifying glass and the grace of God, which is everywhere, is focused through us and will set that person on fire, right? Because you want, you want his conversion more than anything, right? Say yes, Father. Yeah. So the reality is, so the first thing you're going to do is pray for that person. The second thing you're going to do is love that person. Now, when I talk about love, sometimes, gentlemen, love is a kick in the ass, right? But it's done in love. You know, if he's hurting your daughter, to kick his ass is okay. But he got to know that you love him as you kick his ass. You got it? And the third thing you got to do is you got to witness to them. And witness isn't just about saying, because see what we do, you got to know this. Before God gives the Ten Commandments, He first sets His people free from their slavery. We throw the commandments at people without ever them coming to know the love of Jesus. That's why they never change. Because all it is about rules. We are not a religion of rules. We're a religion of love. So, you witness, and witness isn't just telling rules. It's showing what Jesus Christ has done for you in your life and how Jesus can set him free too. You got it? So that won't be easy. It might kill you, but that's okay. Okay? Go ahead. 